Hello. Good afternoon. I'm definitely not used to saying good afternoon, but there it is. Good afternoon. All right. We did. Oh. Stretching and I shouldn't be stretching. Let me just get Moses and Sheldon water. I'll be right there. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Oh, fresh water. Let me just sort their cages. I can't, I haven't, I forgot to do it this morning. I haven't even fed them. They're in bed as if like, it's like seven in the morning and it's not. Get your little butts up. Man, do they freaking rely on me. But that makes sense because I'm the mama. Hey. Good morning. You guys do know it's actually the afternoon. Sheldon. Come on. Can see Mama? I totally cannot climb back there right now. All right, guys, let's do this. Hey, 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 it's the monkey. People say the monkey around. Oh, hello. My fucking back is killing. Everything, everything hurts. Oh my gosh, my full leaf clover is getting so large, I can't see you guys on the computer. <sighs> Since yesterday, everywhere. Yeah. The cats have been up my ass, too. It's just the energy, you know? <sighs> Even Max, I fed him a little early yesterday. I honestly I try not to do that because then, like, when I go up and down, he's, like, all excited, thinking he's going to eat again. Because they have wet food in the morning and at night. Well, not night, night. Like, dinner time, you know? So. I put some lotion on my fucking back. Ever since this trip, guys, I'm telling you, like, the trip was just too much on me. I have not been able to get my pain level down since the trip. Sucks. <sighs> Sorry, I know I said 10.30, but then my dad had to go to the market and then the dump. So I watched a movie with my mother. It was nice. It was, um, what did we watch? We watched, um, I gotta put my hair up. The Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 on Prime. Those are always cute movies. It's cute movies. Oh, my bun is going to the right. My bun is going to the right. To the right. To the left. To the left. Everything you want in the box to the left. Okay. So, we're going to read on Mercury. And I think it goes into what? Like April 4th? Let me find out. Let me find out. Mercury transits 2024. 20th. February 20th. Mercury plenty of intelligence and business. Saturn moved by this sign. Uh, Aries, uh, not Aries, Aquarius moved by Saturn. Let's uh, Mercury transits to Yeah, no, 
shit, come on. I want the fucking list. I said, come on, we're going to Aquarius, March 15th. Okay, I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for fucking Mercury. Oh, dear Lord. What the actual fuck? Like, I just... Uh, I don't know what else to even put it. Oh, God bless. Thank you. June 29th. Why? June 29th. What, what happened to April? Um, what the fuck happened to March? What? What the actual fuck? January, February, and March. March 7th through the 26th. April 9th. Well, when's it? So I'm assuming that went retrograde on the 26th. <sighs> Hello? Yes. Hi. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Does it have to be her? I mean, is it like an appointment or do you just guys give me the kit and I'm doing blood work? No, there's no no particular day. I mean, I just she's taking the day off, but I mean, we have, then I have to wait like months to get back in. Yeah, first available. Okay. A 90 minute appointment. What kind of, oh, what type of appointment is this? And I, I mean, I don't even, my doctor said. Okay. Yep, and if there's a cancellation before that, will you guys put me on a cancellation list? Okay. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much. Oh, can I quick question? Nope, she might already lost her. I got a set of, I had an appointment for genetic testing for birth, the breast genetic testing. I'm so over this fucking doctor shit. Sorry, guys. So, March 7th transiting from Aquarius into Pisces. And then it's transiting from Pisces into Aries. So we have a couple, because Mars is transitioning on the 22nd. So a couple, that's probably why I had that Mars vibe. And then until April 8th. So that's... I'm assuming that's retro and then direct and then retro. That's not telling me, but I know we just went into it and it was the shadow. So that's probably direct. What the actual fuck? Worst fucking list ever. Fuck, guys. I'm so over this already. How's your guys' day going? Dear Lord. So 
So we're going to talk about Mercury, and to be quite fucking honest with you, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if we're in direct or fucking retro. I'm pretty sure we're in retro right now. If anybody wants to look that up for me, I would be so appreciative, and I will wait before I say another word. Honest to God. Like, that was the worst app ever. I don't even know what that was. It's probably an easy way to look it up, but I just looked it up an easy way and it wasn't so freaking easy. April 1st to the 25th. For what, though? Retrograde. I know. But we're in retrograde right now, too. So do we go direct on the 26th, then? I'm almost one. I'm positive one retrograde right now. On April Fool's Day. But I'm talking about the one right now in March that we're in. You guys are skipping March. Like right here, March 7, 2024, went into Aquarius the 26th, March of 2024, into Pisces transitioning out on the 26th. I know we were in the shadow period before retrograde about a month ago. So we're in retrograde right now. Oh, yeah, medicine time. Guess what? I'm not taking it. I'm so over the shit. So pre-shadow is March 19th, because I don't even have that here. When's the next time Mercury goes retrograde in 2024? I can't with this shit right now. This is... In 2024, the planets are going to be the zodiacs, the sun signs that would be affected the most... Aries, Leo, Virgo, kept one in Sag. Um, doesn't say anything about March. Mercury retro starts April 1st. Jupiter retro on top two. Mercury retro. How many Mercury retros? Four. Can I have Pacific dates? First one, December to January 1st, 2024. Second one, April 1st to April 24th. So it's just the other app I was on is just what planet is in. I mean, it never goes away, guys. The planet is always there. Um, but that's odd. Because we're already pre-shadow. What? Is anybody else fucking confused right now? I don't even understand. I mean, 20 minutes ago before I came on, 14 minutes ago, I was perfectly fine. So I don't... I feel like it's definitely a message. I don't know why. I actually feel really freaking confused. The energy that I've been feeling lately for people's like anxiety and shit, like it's it's kicking in stronger and stronger. I'm not super crazy about it, I'm not gonna lie. Cause someone is confused as fuck right now. I can't tell if it's like mental. Like, in the sense of, like, emotionally or mentally, is it, like, a mental thing? Like, Jesus. I mean, I, 
I honestly feel like I was perfectly fine to the point where I just want to shut this down. Like, I'm not even fucking kidding. 1515. Well, I don't know if I like that so much. Well, not that I don't like it. It's the fives. Yeah, see, I don't even feel like me right this second. This, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'd so much rather channel a different line. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but... 15, 15, important message. Do it changes in your life. Auspicious opportunities enhance your own life's thoughts, words, actions, influence, the results, outcomes, positive affirmations. Be inspired by taking actions towards pursuing new opportunities. Breathe. Appearing in your life at this time, you take full advantage of the great benefits to yourself. Truly in your life, stay positive, optimistic, impending changes. That way things will go smoothly. Oh, yeah, no big deal, right? Except change in your life upon higher self. Changes of experience have to go in the way peace, love, and joy. So I don't think this has anything to fucking do with the Mercury retrograde. But this morning when I, I felt sane and I was talking to you guys, I'm not kidding. Like, felt like I should have been talking about Mercury. The vibe I have now since I've come on, I don't even know what to think. I mean, obviously we can be feeling the pre-shadow, but that seems a little uh, excessive. So I, I don't know if this is like somebody's Mercury is meshing with their like Saturn or like whatever planet your Mercury is in. I, I don't know. It must be like heavy karma or something. Something must be happening. Like some people must be like must be put be putting through the fucking ringer right now. I don't really have any ex other explanation like. I guess I'm just going to do weekend energy when I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I know Mars is 22nd, right? And I'm not feeling the Venus energy. I know Mars and Mercury was coming through strong in the last couple of readings. So, you know, I know there's karma here that can go either way with what's been coming out of the readings, but Jesus, like, I don't know. Someone must be, like, being put through the ringer right now in regards to the karma, I'm telling you, because this just doesn't even, like, make any sense. Like, it's, it just feels like it must be, like, a global message here, and it's, I don't, I don't know, like, um, I'm not really sure what's going on with the, I just got pulled to the thing I briefly saw before I came downstairs with the New York shooting subway and they were saying something about mental health. Um, and I just got pulled to that. So I don't, I don't know if like, when is like mental health awareness? I thought that was like August or September. Cause they do that. They group the months like that by, by statistics, like, you know, it's it's worse in that month, and that's why they have it. They hold things that month, so it's more beneficial for people. See, I never put my my ring on that finger either. Feels weird. It's in May. Um, so I don't think it's that, but I just did get pulled to like the New York thing, the the shooting. But I'm not even really sure. I just had to make sure I did everything right. Um, oh, man, guys, I don't know. Be careful in the sense of, like, if I'm just still in weekend energy and it already feels like this, like, it was, it was an instant flip. Like, like I, like, I, like, I don't know. Like, it's all, not, like, panic, but, like, I don't know. I have fucking no idea. Seems very uncomfortable. 
if somebody is like this uncomfortable on whether or not they're trying to figure out after to go after something or not or to do like I mean yeah like what are you doing yeah you're literally taking years off your fucking life if this is the majority of people's fucking energy right now like it's just not kosher and I'm not saying like it's it's bad. I if anything, I feel bad. Like I like if it's linked to karma, then so be it. Everyone deserves that karma. And I'm not again not trying to be an asshole, but don't think that I, that I haven't been dish fucking karma. I have. I accept it. I work through it. Right. So you can't not not do your fucking work, your shadow work and shit. Right. I don't think it has anything to do with this deck, Path of Shadows. I mean, it. Very well could. I did plan on using this deck. Um, I went through it last night. It's, I like these cards a lot. They're nice. Positive and negative in here. And I wouldn't say it's negative. It's all about transitions. You know, all about acceptance and growth and evolution and that type of shit. But, um, like, I, I know, like, the energy is kind of, like, off and on. It could be, like, emotional. But what I'm feeling, like, if somebody is literally going to this, like, like this, like, holy shit. I, like, you're taking years off your life. Is it worth it? Like, what are you going through? Like, so somebody's getting fucking hit hard. And I wouldn't say somebody. I, uh, I'm talking I'm a, a big part of the collection is getting hit with this energy. If it's like that, because I want to say I was at like peace with myself, but it was definitely calm until I just thought of this. I mean, 10 minutes ago, I didn't know my ass from my fucking elbow. Google wouldn't even help me. So if you ask me, there's no way around it and people who are going through this must be trying, I don't know, wiggle, trying to wiggle their way out. I have no idea. But it um, doesn't work like that. So this must be like a heads up for you guys that there's going to be energies like this around, around you guys. Heads up there because what I'm feeling is not, not energies I want around me. But again, I mean, it might, it, I don't, whatever I'm feeling, I don't think can be avoided. Like, say somebody's been waiting months and months and months or years and years to finally say something to somebody or do something, but they don't want to because they don't want to make somebody feel bad, but like they're trying to save somebody else. That feel, like, you can't do that shit. Like, speak your freaking truth. You know what I mean? Say it as nicely as you can. Like, so I, it almost feels like, it, like an explosion. Like, you just, someone can't, energies just won't be able to like rail it in. God, I should just like turn my fucking ringer off this weekend. Dear Lord. All right, weekend energy. Let's let's um let's see. Pull some cards. We'll clarify each one. This one is venomous garden. Beauty conceals truth. Breathe captivating lies. Beware of their allure of dangers in the shadows that hide the, that's telling me that you definitely have shady fucking energy coming towards you or around you not for everybody but for some i mean it could just be as simple as a sister a brother a parental figure a child um energy is getting hit hard this week and i can feel it i feel it coming and, and and in so many different aspects, it could be pressure. Like, why didn't I take that job? Or why didn't I start that project? Or why did I say it like that? Like, whatever you guys, oh, look at the cute little fox shifting, adaptability. Um, so there's some sweet cards in here too. I like the frog in this deck. Um, but this is telling me that There's some shady ass shit going around you. Family member, I don't know. So these readings are kind of going to be like individual. 
So I'm not just like reading on like one particular thing. Um, so I'll clarify each card because I haven't worked with these cards yet. So, ooh, people pleasing. Gotta love the fucking people pleasers. We've had those on our board lately. Um, I wonder how much of myself I've lost in others. The pieces that remain that no one notices. That's that's because you're like overdoing it, not really taking care of yourself, you know? So exhaustion might catch up to people too, or just like little epiphanies. Crystal ball, intuition, clever, clairvoyance, fucking clairvoyance, not even a fucking thing, clairaudience and focus. So some of you, I think some of you need to accept this. Some may not be listening to their intuition or you have heightened intuition or focus which is a complete opposite that I was just feeling and, and channeling and vibing. That's for damn sure. Um, so like here's a, a, a good example, like not the greatest vibes, higher vibes, higher vibing vibes, you know? Could this be happening all at the same time? I, I mean, yeah, I guess it just depends on how chaotic your weekend is but jesus like i did not feel this type of chaos until i literally started this reading so again it's like one of those things like me and being empathic and channeling and that type of stuff like that could be enhancing you know um as global ascension takes place and maybe i need to like sit back and like research it a little more and it, it's not that it's protecting it's not really protecting myself like it is what it is so i feel like i don't have to do that but i am starting to notice it a lot more and um this one it just kind of makes me feel like so strange like i want to start the video over but it's it's chan it's all part of the reading it's so it is what it is but i certainly don't like the feeling that I have like it's just not it's not a kosher feeling and I can't tell if it's like comma that needs to be the living if it's somebody that's got something to say and they're not saying it and it's just like an explosion you know, it, you know people pleasing that that's catching up the exhaustion is kept on catching up realizing like people don't even appreciate me yada 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 you know it's all different aspects of how it is that you're people pleasing or you're dealing with somebody who's a people pleaser because you know they don't want to make somebody else angry or sad and, and like i still don't like the energy that i'm feeling it feels very weird and i've been saying to you guys for fucking years on youtube like channeling always kind of intimidated me or scared me because i always thought it was going to be one of those things where i'm going to like the poltergeist so like what where like you shut your eyes and she opens her eyes and rolls on top of her head you know um but feeling like the collective's energy this week I'm, i just i don't like it so heads up there because roads could be busy, shops could be busy. It almost has like a Christmas vibe. Like you can't find fucking parking and people are assholes and, you know, and people, yeah, around the holidays, they think about, you know, like other people and I didn't appreciate them. Or I should have appreciated them. Oh man, I'm glad I don't have to eat dinner with them this year. But like, why? Why do you feel that way? And if that's the case, then why the fuck do you invite them? You know, it's, it's shit like that. This, this energy, like, it's very fucking chaotic. And I can't tell the feeling that I'm feeling right now. It's almost like off and on warmth, but my chest hurts. It's like anxiety. I don't, like, somebody's going to give themselves a damn panic attack or, like, somebody's just ready to fucking burst. I don't know how else to explain it. Man, I love you guys, but I can't wait to get out of this fucking raid. Ghost. In the realm of shadows where memories are host, the echoes of what is gone still haunts the most. Yeah, see, there's, there's regret. There's karma catching up to people. Self-doubt 
In shadows deep, with fears and doubt creep. Inspect our hauntings where courage sleeps. I think you you have somebody around you that doesn't like the role that you play or um, like I'm getting angry again. Like I don't even know what to do with myself. I don't even know if holding a crystal right now is going to help, but I'll try. Um, man. Like, I don't even know how to explain how I feel. Like, if I wasn't a reader and, like, spirit, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, but I know I'm in other people's energy. Like, the collective, like, a storm is fucking coming, guys. Like, with the collective. And it's, it's probably fucking random. And it's, like, out of nowhere. Are we having solar storms right now? Something must be happening. This is more than just fucking transits and comma, guys. Like this, like I can see like communication being like, I can hear like a fuzzy, what do you call that? Like an A, B, you listen to truckers, like it, this sounds fuzzy. Mercury does that. But this, I don't know if this is a solar storm. This feels like more than just, more than just comma. This is like, uh, this is happening with the public, whatever it is. And it's just kind of like a burst of, I don't know, people coming in it. I wouldn't say in and out of voids. Maybe these people are going into voids. I don't fucking know what's happening. It's almost like not knowing my ass from my elbow when I was trying to figure out Mercury. And I don't, I don't even think someone's trying to cause this confusion right now, now that I think about it. Like, I think whoever's going to be in this energy is definitely meant to be in this energy for a good reason, for you to figure out why. Procrastination. Yeah, it's like a ticking time bomb, like, I, like that energy. The ticking of the clock distracts me from the fact that I'm my worst enemy that hides in my mind. So... <laughs> Maybe somebody has issues with you being freaking taboo with this being here. I don't, it could be like a, a message in the sense like some of these are meshing. It could be in a sense of like someone's not listening to their intuition, too busy pleasing other people, like their own thoughts are haunting them. They're doubting their their abilities. They're doubting all sorts of stuff, whether something will work out, whether or not. How long has this energy been procrastinating? Because I thought we were going to separate all these. And now it looks like I can mesh all these fucking energies together. And there's somebody nasty around energies. Like karmics. People's karmics are just coming out of the fucking woodworks. Because they're not getting what they want. And they see people going in other directions. They're not making decisions. So this is like a ticking fucking time bomb right here. Whatever this shit is. Knowledge, death, energies, the raven, that's a pretty card. Um, all I could say, like, if I, I doubt this is you guys, to be quite fucking honest with you. I think this is somebody that's projecting energies towards you or there, there's still some type of tie or, you know, their ego or pride is in the way. This just feels like, it almost feels like an energy of like somebody who will love you forever, but never admit it because of other people in their lives. With people pleaser being here and making bad decisions and not the best decisions or how other people think, you know, that's, that's definitely one scenario. Others of you are just in relationships that are, are not good, venomous. It's like, you don't, you don't look at it as like they got you wrapped around their little finger, but they do. In a sense, it's like you're someone's puppet. 
and you can, and you can't say that you're not because it's very clear that you are. And I'm usually I work with karma, so I'm okay working with shadow energy. But this shit, nope. And for it to get all intertwined, entangled, like I can see like barbed wire intertwined. You know what I mean? Like this has been happening for a while. And I almost feel like you can't even un untwine. Is that a word? I don't even think you can untwine and untangle like a barbed wire like that. Like who the fuck would even bother? Unless you were a cowboy and you had to get the job done and you're worried about your fucking stock. But I don't think that's this scenario by any means. Let's be, let's keep that honest. And if you are a cowboy worried about your, your livestock, then I, I wish you luck and I hope you got the right fucking gloves and you get it done in time before a duck and the wolves come in and eat your fucking cattle. Well, that if I know, but uh, okay, I wish you luck there. I got you back. Now, this looks very fucking Matrix. And somebody's been sitting with this for months. This isn't just like damn, I didn't do the right thing, or like an epiphany, you know what I mean? Like, no, this is energy of somebody doing fucking nothing. It's actually annoying. But this is that person's energy that I'm feeling. It's very annoying for them. Like, it's very frustrating. It's very annoying. But like, hey, how about you just take yourself out of it? Like, it almost feels like... um. With the thing I was saying earlier, like, I was always afraid with, like, my eyes rolling back. But, like, what do people call it when, like, people are, like, possessed? I almost feel like I can feel this energy to a T. And it's very uncomfortable. I don't know what reader or what spiritualist would be comfortable with what I'm experiencing right now. To read this for you guys. I feel like, and I'm also hearing, like, I'm sorry for, like, is that Justin Bieber? Like, I think it's another song. Somebody wants to say they're sorry, but I, don't, I think it's like they're saying it in the heads. Like, they're not even saying it to you. Unless somebody's going to break through this fucking bob wire. But, like, it's almost like skipping camera or something. Like, I don't even know if that's possible. Let's, <sighs> let's... I feel like this could be you guys or like a random spiritualist because somebody's experienced all this like I don't I mean it's a possibility that well well your clairvoyance energy like god it's, it's like seven C's. The exact definition of clairvoyance. Is it clairvoyance or clairaudience? No, it's clairvoyance. I think. Yeah, clairvoyance. The power of facility of dis discerning objects not present to the senses. Ability to perceive matters beyond the range of ordinary perception. A fortune teller practices clairvoyance when she gazes into a crystal ball, hence into like somebody's future. Clairconesis, clairvoyance. Um, it's like psychic telepathy. And I'm not saying, like, this is you guys' future. That's why I'm thinking, like, some of you might actually be clairvoyant and maybe somebody else doesn't like that you're clairvoyant because something just feels taboo here. Or is this you and, like, you're stuck in the middle? I, I highly doubt that. Or is this your energy and this is your self-doubt and you're, you know what I mean? Like, you're people-pleasing. Like, yeah, I don't think so. 
I'm going to go with a great big giant no. And I'm not saying we're better than fucking the Matrix, but we're a lot more open fucking minded. And our perception is we've already, we can, like, we're not pleasing people. Like, that can happen to any of us. Um, we can always have self-doubt as well. We could procrastinate as well. But, like, with this, like, mixed together, I'm getting, like, no, like this is just one energy that's holding like a lot of regret and but is not going after what they want because they're worried about outcomes with other situations, people, places, a thing, you know, could even be like, doesn't even have to do with another person or a family member. It could just be a religious thing. It, it seems to all be linked. So that's why I think somebody has an issue with your abilities to be quite honest somebody is probably intimidated by you i think they're figuring out that you do have abilities you do have gifts and they don't they don't know what to think it makes them nervous or what will their family think you know it's it's shit like that so i i don't know if this person can get over it like I said, this person might take this shit to the fucking grave. And I'm sorry to tell you that if this is, if you got somebody on your mind and you think it's the love of your life, because there's a good chance 5% of however many people are involved here, which are probably thousands and thousands with the collective energy, um, will take this shit to the grave because they don't have a fucking backbone. And they act like they do. They can be the fucking president of a fucking company. They could be Donald fucking Trump, guys. And this motherfucker on this board, whomever it is, he or she does not have a fucking backbone right now. You see where I'm going with that? I don't care if you're fucking Donald Trump. You can act like you're fucking Donald Trump. But it's not somebody who could stand up for their fucking country. This person can't even stand up to their fucking family. But probably has like a prestigious job. Fake. See, this is where I need to figure out this energy myself as a reader. Because feeling this other person's energy. I, again, I'm just going to have to figure out maybe how to be a little nicer. I don't know. I don't, you know, because... You know, it just feels like somebody who's not going to like make it to the other side in the sense of like they're not gonna like break on through to the other side like not this person they're too busy pleasing other people they're too busy wearing the mask that they're wearing but they love you how's that make you guys feel make you feel good does it make you feel appreciated does it make you feel like you want to wait a little longer just in case you think this person's doing their shadow work and they might fucking come along? Because that's the kind of energy you're dealing with right now. That's not nobody I want in my fucking life unless it's my family or my friend and I'm there to kind of like help them without them kind of taking my energy, if that makes sense. But I don't. I don't, I don't feel like it's anything like that. Like this feels, this feels like, um, personal, like this is one of your exes or something and they can't escape a family situation. They think they can't escape a family situation is really what's going on, you know? So And the fact that this person is worried about you being fucking taboo makes me want to fucking be like, fuck this person anyway. You know what I mean? But it's like haunting them that they never took a chance or, you know, they don't, they don't have it in them to speak up or pick up the fucking phone. The only time you probably hear from this person if you're dealing with an alcoholic or an addict. And I hate to be an asshole, but that's the only time you're going to get probably communication from this person. 
because they're not doing their shadow work. And this could be easily moved through. It could be a lot worse. But they have somebody wrapped around their fucking finger. And if you ask them, like, oh, she's got you here. She's got you wrapped around the finger. Nah, no, they don't. Yeah, motherfucker, they do. And only you can get the fuck out of this. Like, somebody feels like they got a knife against their fucking throat here with somebody, like a family member or one of their exes. You know what I mean? But this is probably your ex. If people can get past this, like, the self-down procrastination, this ghost energy. Not ghost like you ghost somebody. This is, like, just shit's haunting them because the choices they fucking made in life. And, the, and let me say it this way for some of them. It, what's haunting them is the choices they're not making right now in their life in regards to you. Because you hold a fucking crystal ball. And you know how people feel about fucking crystal balls? Fucking psychic. Oh, you're psychic. Oh, you think you're a gypsy and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like, I hate how crystal balls got a bad rep. You know, but it, it was, it's been a tool that's been around for a very long time. And this person is just staying like in a venomous fucking garden because they're people pleasing. And this person finds beauty and comfort in toxic things. And I hate to say it. I don't even know if this person realizes something's that fucking toxic. I'm dead fucking serious right now. So I don't know who this is, but they're thinking about you this weekend. So be careful because my abilities are getting stronger. And if that's the case, you guys are part of my fucking tribe. Your abilities are going to get stronger. Some of you might even be working with telepathy this weekend, and that would suck to be have a telepathic connection with this person because no fucking way. That would mess up your antenna. You would, Your aura would be fucked. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm dead fucking serious with you. Unless this is like a straight-up family member or somebody that honestly needs your help, I would just stay away. I, and it, honestly, it's the fucking truth. I'm sorry. I'd like to say here, I mean, I have a lot of experience and I'm wise when it comes to knowledge and how to fix things and relationships, but I just feel like I don't have time for it. It's just so matrix. And I, I know I might lose people saying that, but like, I just don't have time. I don't want to make the time for people who don't want to help themselves. And this person doesn't want to help themselves. I can feel it. I know it. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's, I just look at it, guys, like, I could probably be, like, the best spiritual fucking counselor for, like, marriages and put marriages back together. But there's nothing in that for me. Like, there's no, like, um, like, pat myself on the back. Like, I know I can do it. I'd probably be really good at it. But, like, there's no reward for me because I'm dealing with matrix fucking people. And these people would have to go through a good year of hell to get to where they really want to be. And the majority of fucking people are not going to do that. So that's, it's taken too much en energy away from me to do that. Does that make sense? Like I can picture people being like, well, if you're so good at it, why don't you fucking do it? Oh, I could fucking do it, but it's just, it's too matrix for me. I'm so beyond, I'm so beyond that because people in a healthy fucking marriage and they don't stay together for fucking reasons marriage money kids like you're you don't even do that shit when you've stepped out the fucking matrix you're so happy and content with your fucking life you won't even step into another relationship that even involves shit like this it's like on your radar you wouldn't even dare you're happy you take because you choose to you choose to get out of the matrix. You choose not to be a people pleaser. You choose not to listen to societal viewpoints. You choose. You get what I'm saying? Where I'm going with that? You know what I mean? Like, like I'm so outside the box. Like when I think about stuff like this, it's it feels like a waste of fucking time. Because when you're truly fucking happy and you're an authentic fucking person and you're going after your own happiness, and you know, like. 
you don't you don't find yourself in, in these situations. Like you can fix a marriage so fucking quick, like in the sense of like you'd either get in in it of it in it in it or out of it real fucking quick. Like you wouldn't there'd be no limbo. Like I don't think I'm explaining all right, but like if people were really aw awakened, um how do I want to explain it? Like It's, it's just petty, guys. Like, everything a marriage they fight over or they stay in, it, it's, it's fucking petty. It's matrix. You, you're, being, you're puppets. Everyone's an abuser. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you can't find your way out of shit like that. <sighs> so, to me, it, it's like... I want nothing to do with it, knowing that I, I know where everybody's at and I can get people out of it. But I'd say 80% or if not a little bit more would never find their way out of it because they just, they don't want to or the partner doesn't. So it's, you just keep getting sucked back in. And once you're out of the matrix, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Only people in the matrix would be like, what the fuck is she talking about? Not everybody, but a majority of them. And it's hard for me to explain because, honestly, I could break it down so many different ways. And I, I don't think you would understand it until you were, like, somewhat out of the matrix. Like, people that are happy and authentic and they don't fucking lie and they live their lives and at the end of the day, they're doing the best they can and they're laying by the one they love. Like, they're not going to stay in relationships like this to please other fucking people. Not even fucking friendships. And you wouldn't even hang... You wouldn't catch a spiritualist being a best friend with this energy unless they were just having a crazy-ass moment in their fucking life. Nope. And this is a big deal to this person because other people aren't going to accept it. And that's this person's karma. But I don't think they get that yet. And that's not me shitting on them because they don't get it. And they may never get it. Let's keep it real. Because they're still people pleasing other people and procrastinating. And they know they got vicious people around them. It's like having a knife to the throat. This person doesn't have a fucking backbone right now. And if they came towards you, you would be a secret. Mark my words, this person does not have a fucking backbone. They do not have your back 100%. They're still probably intimidated by you. And, and other people in their family don't accept you. They don't believe in psychics. Or they don't believe in taboo things. And and But I bet you they believe in intuition. But they, they don't have enough fucking common sense to know intuition is a spiritual thing. It's linked to spirituality. It's linked to energy. But yet they're tossing around the word fucking intuition like it's no fucking big deal. But you toss around the word fucking crystal ball and the fucking walls go up. This is a very naive fucking family. When people are fucking stuck in situations like not this, not that, just their family. Everybody else in the fucking family. Conditioning, stubbornness, belief, societal viewpoints. Because a crystal ball and intuition are in the same fucking realm in regards to words. Intuition is energy. It's a feeling. Crystal ball is energy. A feeling, same fucking shit. We listen to our intuition. No one can talk me out of that. But people in the matrix, puppets, uh, he or she doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. That doesn't make any sense, you know. Blah 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 blah. Like, I'm sorry. And again, I'm here with Justin Bieber. I'm sorry. No, I'm mixing up two songs. So somebody wants to apologize. So it's, it's almost like someone wants to come at you, or it's like they're apologizing to themselves because they're not gonna come towards you. You know what I mean? So I don't know how this is going to roll, but not looking so fucking great, I'll tell you that. And there's still a big fucking issue. So 
this person go knock on somebody else's fucking door. This is not like, I got you. This person don't fucking got you. You can love this person. You can be in a relationship. You think you got each other's back. This person does not have your fucking back right now. And if they got your back, I hope they show up. But this is shadow work. So this is still lingering. If this is people around them and they're like, oh, man, you stepped out of this and you're going to go into a whole new fucking world. And I hope somebody does because we need more of you on our fucking side. Um, then they're still dealing with this from somebody else and they need to check that energy. They're still in a karmic link with somebody, even if they come your way. They're still not checking somebody else. And that's fucking annoying because that's this that's been coming out a couple times. That's there's no security there. That's not cool. That's not kosher. Like I just I can't stand when I fucking feel energy like that because there's nothing about that that's romantic. There's nothing about that that's sweet or endearing or loving, you know. Like, it, I swear, I'm probably going to be single the rest of my fucking life. Unless spirit's got somebody in fucking mind because, I mean, yeah, I just fucking can't. It's hard enough having friends that play in the Matrix, never mind a lover. And people wonder why we just have lovers or date, you know what I mean? Be, because we don't want this, because we don't want to deal with this. And we have that much self-respect and worth that we won't find ourselves in another situation. And we might be happy the rest of our lives just having lovers. Or we might be sad because we wanted more and we didn't get it. I don't know. But we're strong enough not to settle. And that's painful as a spiritualist. Because we know better and we want to be a happy life. And we want to we wanna be who we are. And it's extremely painful. Because we don't settle. Sometimes we stay in situations a little bit too long because we feed ourselves. But we won't fucking settle. So. I don't blame people for just having lovers off and on for fucking life. And people can look at people however they want to fucking look at people. But it's a smart fucking woman right there or a smart fucking man when it comes to certain shit. Because I don't fucking blame them. Nobody wants to be attached to somebody who has attachments like this and is not checking other energy. And I had 50 or 60 of you watching that keeps going less and less and less, which is perfectly fine. Because, But that just goes to show you there's at least 30 or 40 people that just watched that can't fucking handle what I'm saying. And you wonder why I don't want to be an activist or you wonder why I don't want to be a fucking spiritual therapist for fucking people. Because they can't fucking handle it. And this could end up being a beautiful reading, but 40 people just bounced off because they can't handle the fucking truth. So those ones that do end up hooking up with those other people or whatnot, it will still go down the fucking shitter. Because they don't watch the rest of the fucking read. Or they just can't handle what I'm saying. Yeah, you ask me, this is not something that already happened. This is still fucking happening. Even if an energy comes towards you, they still have to check another fucking energy. And they haven't. And that's the fucking truth. And I want you guys to be very aware of it. because, And it's okay. You can still have a conversation with this person see where things go. And see if they're honest and you can be honest. And maybe you can work on things. That's That's life. That's what real relationships are fucking about. It just takes people a little fucking longer. To get to where they need to fucking be. I don't fucking know. No, I know that part, but I'm just saying, like, like if it was to happen to me, like I don't, I don't know. I guess it depends on how much honesty is there. And what are they gonna do to get to where they need to be? Because this isn't gonna fucking cut it. And that's probably why someone's having an issue coming towards you. 
because they know you know this shit. So there's probably embarrassment and humiliation if, if, if this person is in their comma and they're stepping out of the matrix, then there would be, they would be ashamed of themselves. They would be embarrassed. And if they're not, they're not even close to out of the fucking matrix. They should be embarrassed on how they fucking treated you because something clearly went down. You are clearly not in this person's fucking life. They clearly did not admire you or respect you or appreciate you. And if they say they did, they, they're fucking liars. What? They appreciated you 5% of the time in a sweet moment? Or they appreciate, like, they you help them out of something or get through something, but did they fucking help you? So don't let this person convince you that they appreciate you because they don't fucking, did they appreciate you in your time of need? Were they there for you in your fucking time of need? If you pick them up and call them, are they going to pick up the fucking phone? Bye, Tammy. Have a great weekend. So I'm just giving you guys heads up that this is the energy that you're dealing with. Be very aware that this energy is fucking working. It is something that you can work through. But I'm explaining this to you because not all of you want to work through this shit. And you shouldn't have to work through this if there's not an energy that's reciprocated and the truth is coming out. Because there's been a, if this energy is out, a lot of lies have been told underneath the surface. So other people in their family or their friends don't like that you're fucking taboo. That's one issue. Never mind there's somebody fucking very toxic around them. And this energy is people pleasing. Business, work, love, whatever it may be. They're haunted by the choices they make. They want to kind of step forward or whatnot, but a lot of self-doubt there. Still procrastinating. And that procrastination and self-doubt is only there because there's still karmic people around them and they're not checking that energy and they're too busy worried about what other people are going to think because you're fucking spiritual. That's still a fucking problem for them. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be. They can live an honest, authentic fucking life and be super fucking happy with you once this is all fucking settled. And this wouldn't be settled for a while. This person would have to step out of it and let other family members or friends deal with how they feel about you. Because at the end of the fucking day, they come first. You come first. Everybody else will adjust. And if they don't, it's, it's, that's their karma in this person's karma. But if they do their karma, which some of them might be, if they do, yeah, other people are going to have to go bye-bye for a little while. This person's going to have to, you know, tell people, like, stand up for you. I guarantee this person talked shit about you and laughed along with other people's jokes. But if they're dead serious about you wanting them and you them and you in their lives, they're going to have to be like, look, I know at one time I fucking laughed about some shit like this, but, you know, on a more serious note, I love this person. It's got to stop. And you're clearing karma like that. But this person still doesn't do that. They'll let people just have their opinions, even though it affects them. It's like somebody on the phone, you're listening, but you're rolling your eyes like you don't agree, but you don't say anything. Either because you just don't want to have a conversation, so I don't know why the fuck you're even listening. I mean, I, I can... There's no point in, I can play that fucking conversation out fucking 10 different ways. There's no point in even fucking going there. But you guys know exactly what I'm saying. How many people you see sit on the phone and do that shit? If you can't give somebody your attention or tell somebody how you honestly feel or give you a fucking opinion, why are you even fucking talking to that person? <sighs> You know, honestly. Okay, Venomous Garden. Beauty conceals the truth beneath captivating, beneath captivating lies. Beware the allure of the dangers that are in the shadows that hide. So I think somebody's very clear. They might be coming at you like you're fucking stupid and naive. 
you're not even going to entertain it, I wouldn't think. But like this is very clear that this there someone shady could be coming your way, but this is this is energy around them, you know. And they think they can like hide it from you or whatever and still have fun or whatever. Like it just that's not how fucking life works. So careful because you don't want to be around people who don't appreciate you guys. Honestly. If they can't stand up to their fucking family because you're even if you're just friends with them and they can't stand up for you, you don't want to be friends with somebody like that. You just don't. And I know a lot of people don't want to fucking hear it, but it's the fucking truth. And half the time is your people probably know you're even around, but like they act like you're just friends or like you're just whatever, like whatever this is, other people don't realize somebody thinks you're very important to them, but other people would never know how you, how important you are to this person because they hide it. You don't want a fucking friend like that. You just don't. It's not a fucking definition of a friend. How do I want to read this? Um, Let's read the current energies for the venomous garden. Ten of Cups, so family. You might even be dealing with somebody who's like, but fair. Anyway, what do we got here? Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, investing in a family, some type of family situation here definitely going on, and, and they're still investing. This isn't like everyday happiness. This isn't like somebody like everyday contentment, being happy, investing in the right places. No. And if they are, then this person has no business being in your life because then you're dealing with a real fucking idiot. And I'm just going to keep it fucking real. You wouldn't even want this energy around you. And I, I hate to say it, but this person would be real fucking stupid. This is like stupid is as stupid does. So if you ask me, this person is still investing and it seems to be a family member or a kid's father or a kid's mother. You know how, you know, the people who, you know, stay in marriages out of like marriage or they say the kids like you don't do shit like that. That's comic. That's matrix. Okay. Um, and then it's like, oh, well, they're family. No, they're not fucking family. Sometimes they're not fucking family. It's your kid's mother or it's your kid's father. And that's the way it goes down sometimes. And a lot of people might be like, oh, maybe she had a bad experience. I did have a bad experience, but I'm sure it's not fucking bitter. I'm just fucking honest with you. Because you need more fucking readers that are fucking honest with you. Not everything is meant to be kosher between people who have fucking children. It's fucking called karma. And it's how you continue to live your life in the role model you continue or choose to be when it comes to your fucking children. And that's the reality of a situation. It's not because I had a bad experience. So I'm going to say like, oh, well, she just sent that because I, I could see somebody fucking saying that. You can tell that person to piss off because that person doesn't belong in your fucking life either. Is it important to fucking co-parent and try to be kosher? Absolutely, hands down. Absolutely. But things are karmic and that is not meant to happen for everybody or a majority of people. Society, family conditioning keeps you trapped in situations like this. Somebody is still fucking trapped in a situation like this. It is what it is. I think someone's got a lot of love for you, but that's not going to cut it if they're not standing up for you and doing what needs to be done because they're still entertaining toxic fucking energy. Blood or not blood. You want somebody around you like that? No. And you got judgment. So this person needs to fucking make a decision. 
or they're currently making a decision. So maybe you should currently hold off if this person comes towards you. And that's the fucking truth. I'm going to keep this real fucking simple because I was nice and honest and fucking clear when it comes to this. So I'm giving you heads up on what is actually fucking going down with this energy. Okay? You make your own fucking choice. Like I say, at the end of the day, they want to be honest with you and they're telling you they're struggling, then so be it. But don't, don't get swindled either because people that are fucking smart and narcissistic, you know, they can play very well when it comes to play shit very well and talk about what, let's say shit that you want to fucking hear because they're fucking smart. Okay. So currently we're people pleasing. I wonder how much of myself I've actually lost within others, the pieces that still remain that nobody noticed. So somebody's noticing they are people pleasers. Somebody is fucking exhausted as fuck here. And I don't blame you. This is exhausting. I've never really been in this situation. Um, and it's not like, oh, good for you. Like, haha, oh, you're so perfect. No. I've had plenty of karmic shit. I've just, personally, that's not been one of my lessons. I've known plenty of people that people please. But, um. Personally, it's not been one of my lessons, which makes sense because I am who I am. Um, and my dad used to be all the time like, oh, you think you're a fucking gypsy, blah, blah, blah. Guys, I bypassed a lot of fucking shit in one ear and out the other. I still did what I like to do at the end of the day. But this person, it's not in one ear out the other. And if, and, but I at least stood up for myself. Somebody here is not standing up for you. They're probably contemplating whether or not to stand up for you. But right now, they're not. So what is currently happening with people pleasing? Got the Ace of Swords. Communication. Conversations. The truth. I feel like the Two of Swords should be here. Temperance. So it almost feels like somebody is like contemplating with the staff. That is interesting. I don't know how to read this. Somebody could be in the spotlight. This is not your energy, so I'm trying to figure out. I don't think, I don't, it doesn't feel like. They could be feeling pressure in regards to like, look, I'm done fucking people pleasing. I need to heal and go in the direction I need to go in, which would be great. So there is some type of communication coming in towards somebody or you. Got the Queen of Wands here. This could be, I'm sorry, I want to fix something. Um, so this person might be honest with you and be like, this is the situation I was in, yada, yada. But still know there's somebody toxic as fuck lurking in their family that they haven't done anything about yet. Ace of Wands with Temperance. Uh, six of Pence. Judgment, mm. uh. Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. So iffy on how this goes. Because this is like, you don't you don't heal through the Ace of Wands. You can, but that'd be a different type of healing. I, it's I'm trying to place this with the energy. So it, that looks more like temptation. You got three of swords, so disappointment. That sounds about right. And then you got the sun. So this is interesting because there there's clearly multiple things going on so it's almost like somebody here doesn't want to 
speak the truth because it could be hurtful and that's what people pleasing is. Um, I mentioned that before the fucking card even came out, you know, it's just, it is what it is guys. It's just the energy that's lingering this weekend. I just want to get a straight, a straight answer for you guys. I don't really want to dig. Um, twin flame abandoned. I'm not trying to get a story like that. I'm trying to just, you just need to know main focus. This could end up being a great thing. Overall energy of people pleasing. Or not so great. Somebody is still entertaining a karmic situation because somebody's still family or kid's father or mother or best friend or whatever the case may be. So, I mean, there's still some shit like that going down, which is not great. So, but somebody could be slowly trying to find the way out of it. So slowly somebody is trying to come around, but they know it's going to cause disruptive energy. Like I said, when this person steps out. So it's like their toes a little wet, but the other one has like 10 pairs of socks on and a sneaker and a boot and is not even ready to get wet yet. You know what I mean? But it's like one toes wet. But most people don't, you know, get a toe wet and then sit back down and be like, oh, yeah, let me take my other shoe off. It's kosher. You know, so, you know, it is an energy that, you know, does want to come towards you in a way. And it's not even in a way they do. But like, I'm t but this energy is is somewhat trying, you know, but. If you ask me, not, and I'm not trying to be an asshole, but not really trying enough because there's still a family situation that they're invested in. And, you know, it's, it's very karmic. It's toxic. And you're probably dealing with somebody, like I said, is a people pleaser and doesn't want to disappoint other people. I want, want them to still feel like they're family or, you know what I mean? And that's not always fucking realistic. That's all I'm saying. And sometimes family is the most karmic energy you can have in your life toxic fucking family i don't know what type of karma you had before but just because people are older does not mean they're fucking wiser just because you've seen some growth but not much doesn't make them smarter and wiser because they're older what's currently going on with this crystal ball Avoidance, focus, intuition. So to me, this energy is definitely thinking about you because you're you're in this person's energy. You got the King of Wands. They could be Aries, Leo, Sag. But typically, that card takes the lead. You have the Eight of Pence, wanting to work something out or wanting to work with you in regards to something. Or this person is researching a little bit more. But then, see, but then you have the Devil. Are they scared? They might just be scared, but it's not just scared of you. It's what other people are going to think too. And this person needs to step out of this because so to me, they're kind of intimidated by you. They're definitely focused on you. Um, but I mean, this could be even a coworker. If somebody wants to go into business with you and I'm not going to lie to you, this is not somebody you'd want to go into business with. They still have links to other energies. So you don't want to link up to energy, especially business partners. They can tell you, oh, it has nothing to do with this. No, it does. It's personal. People's lives affect their business. It is what it is. It's called escapism. This devil, ten of pence. So again, you know, family, long-term, money. The emperor and the five of cups. I actually think this person knows that there's other people around them that are toxic. They're probably just starting to figure that out. They might put a little more focus on you, but 
There's definitely a story to be told here. Everybody's story is going to be a little different. This is kind of somebody who's also scared to invest into you, thinking that you might just like ghost them or they're just going to end up sad or it's revenge or it's not going to work out. Very pessimistic, pessimistic, pessimistic energy. Worried that, you know, they're just going to end up getting hurt. And this person kind of like doesn't like the fact that you can kind of see through them with certain shit. A lot of people can't read them and that's where they found their comfort. But you can kind of see through some shit and this person is struggling with it a little bit. That's normal. So they are trying to to raise a, a different type of vi vibration here. Um, you definitely raise their vibration too. They're not as optimistic as I'd like them to be as a reader if I'm just keeping it real. But things take time. See, I just don't know if you have patience for this. I don't know how long you already gave this situation patience, to be quite honest. Everyone's situation, like I said, is going to be different, but I don't know, guys. Ghost in the realm of the shadows is memories that are host. The echoes of what is gone still haunts me most. So you're clearly not in this person's life, and they think about you a lot. With temperance, this is like a reconciliation card. And then the Ace of Cups, they probably do want to offer you some type of love, or they're struggling with self-love. And you got the Knight of Pentacles. It is a slower energy, but it is an energy that does want to try to heal a situation. You know, this is somebody who's also dealing with a situation from the past that they're trying to heal from as well. Yeah, this still a third party. There's still a situation this person is getting through. Um, it's and it's just they're just quiet right now as they're purging, but it is they're still trying to purge shit with you too, like as if like this is like somebody who would try to pretend like you're not there, like you don't exist, you weren't part of their life, but you keep coming back and haunting them as if like you were the one that got away. And then decisions and choices need to be made. It was clearly somebody else, you know. They were clearly, clearly dealing with another situation here with third party. Work, friends, family, wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is. Um, and they're sitting in it. Um, and it's exactly where they should be. And if somebody does it the right way, in time, there'll be growth. But there's a lot of thing that there's a lot of things that haunt this energy. Um, you know, choices that were just made and choices that they're not making. I really don't have an answer for you here, but I will tell you, like this person is trying to, you know, heal and do what's best for them, and it's it's definitely taking some time. And there's there's nothing wrong with that. But again, another big misconception, guys. You know, people think they can't move on or be with other people because you know they just go through a divorce or a breakup or a death in the family. Like one of the biggest misconceptions out there, because people who come into your life, people, places, and things at certain times is always the right time. It is never the wrong time. How you act and how you play it out is linked to karma. Remember that. That's like, if that's the number one thing I can teach you guys, I'd really like you to take that along for the ride. Currently with self-doubt, the shadows deep in fear and doubt creeps. The specter is haunting where courage sleeps. Oh, you got the lovers here. Yeah, somebody can't stop thinking about you. But I mean, comes along with all this other energy too. And you got the page of pentacles. So it's, it's like wanting to hit you up, wanting to offer you something, wanting to talk to you. But 
a queen of cups or somebody who's just loving, but they're doubting whether you're going to pick up the phone or doubting whether you take their offer or whatever the case may be, but just know that your energy does haunt this person. And in a good way, you are obviously part of somebody's lesson, okay? You are obviously a catalyst. Never easy on our end, you know, but we can accept that. You know, this person has to accept their past and, and make the best out of their future, you know? They could have ghosted you, different things going on, four cups, probably wanting to come back around, trying to figure shit out. The Hierophant, the Devil. You know, or they doubt things are going to work out or doubt, you know, maybe they doubt or they feel like they don't deserve that type of love because what they went through. But it doesn't matter what you go through in life. We all deserve an enormous amount of love. Um, and if you don't feel it and you're not getting it, you're hanging out with the wrong fucking people, you know? And that's the truth. Nostalgia, very nostalgic about you. You know, I guess they're kind of wondering if that's enough. I don't know, but they won't know until they come towards you. And they're probably procrastinating. So this this person definitely fucked you over or hurt you. I mean, that's a given. Do people deserve to be forgiven? Absolutely. To the extent of it, I don't know, guys. That's on you guys, on, on how you you know, want to proceed, I would definitely proceed in caution if this energy comes around. But it doesn't mean that it won't work out. It really just depends, right? Procrastination, the ticking of the clock distracts the fact that I'm my own worst enemy. You got the empress, this could be their mother, this could be their wife, ex-wife, stepmother, parental figure, grandmother that played mom. That could be affecting it. Or the fact that you're a mother. And then there's a queen of swords. Now there's third party here. So it's some it's something they could have been married to in the Ace of Cups. So they got a lot of love, right? But you got the moon. So there's a lot of emotion here too. There's definitely um, another person they were either married to. Or it's a mother that doesn't like you. Or want you to be with them. Or it's taboo. Trying to convince them not to go in that direction. But they got a lot of love for you. They definitely, you know, want to give you this cup. And they're hoping it's reciprocated. But they are procrastinating because there is another woman. And that is the truth. And it doesn't have to be like their ex-lover, guys. It can be their sister that don't like you. It can be their fucking mother, you know. But there is another woman that plays a big part of this decision for them. And to you, that might be like, make no sense. But to them, you know... You're dealing with somebody who's probably very practical and just doesn't make rational fucking moves, but it's definitely time for this person to take action. So they're either going to come through or they're not. This read is either yours or it's not. And if they don't come through, you know, the divine will decide whether this is going to work out, whether it's plan B for you, whether they didn't pass a test. The universe could be testing them right now too, especially because that's been coming out the last couple weeks that the karmics are being tested to see if they're even worthy of coming into your fucking life. Because spirit's not going to want somebody that's going to be tempted by an ex or not do the right thing because of an ex and you're in their life. Spirits don't got time for that. Not for people who ascend. I can't tell you how crucial it is that it's almost like we're puppets for the universe, you know? And it, it is like that. Even spiritualists, we are energy for them, for the, for the galaxy. We are energy. We vibe. So we matter. So they're not, when I say they're not going to want shitty people with light workers or whomever you are, you know, just people are authentic and true to themselves. They don't want shitty people with them unless it's a lesson they have to learn. But a majority of us have already learned that particular lesson for, for my group, um, so this is like not doing what they should do because of another person, a mother, an ex-wife, whomever, kid's mother, you know. But this is basically saying like, I do feel like this energy has been tested, but um, that's what I mean when 
when there be a plan B or something because the divine is here. They want to make sure this person can be who they need to be for you. Because this, they can't, spirit can't worry about this energy. Your priority, your spirit's priority. Does that make sense? So I don't know if it's just, that's like a ticking, like a ticking time bomb here. Like, I don't know if it's like a, a clock on the spirit's end. I don't know. There's a lot of pressure. To me, this person wanted to say something for a while and hasn't. Knight of Pentacles, really slow about it. So they're still dealing with this energy. They're still giving this energy energy. So it's probably a family member in the beginning. And then you got the high priestess. It could be keeping secrets. Then you got the king of pentacles. So I'm not really sure what's going down there. But it's almost like trying to keep something a secret. And that's not going to cut it. Or this person's not going to pass the test with spirit. Guess time will tell. Keep doing what it is you do in the meantime. Now is this one fucking nostalgic? Playing fucking games? Somebody's using their past as manipulation. This energy is going to come back. Definitely want forgiveness, divine masculine, fresh start. You know, this energy just did interrupt some stuff, but if this person can, can push through, and I will tell you, they're... There is still a toxic family member here, and it could be an ex-wife or a mother or a sister, even a grandmother, guys, okay? Um, an ex-girlfriend, I don't know, a, a child, somebody who's feminine, maybe masculine too, but it looks like feminine. Um, they're definitely going to be tested because, like I said, Spirit, spirit caters to those who believe in things and are authentic. And I'm telling you, it's the truth. That's why our, our vibration, you can only vibe this high if if there's self-love and you believe in, if you believe in magic and, and grounding and you, the universe and energy, you know what I mean? Like we are here used as energy to benefit other planets. And it's part of global ascension too, guys. You know what I mean? Like the more people that ascend, it raises vibration. So spirit with your guides being here or this is part of global vibration. Global vibration. I don't think I've ever said that. Um, it's going to make decisions for you. It's like a fork in the road. Well, not like a pick. Not like a guitar pick. I'm a pitch a pick fork that you tune them like a taz that's what i'm and that's all about vibration so you're you guys are probably working with your akashic records too it's just it's just a time frame for every human on this planet we all have different time frames so i think they were already tested i think they've been tested numerous times but i do feel like See, the reading wasn't so bad, but there is still something. You, they still have a very karmic energy around them. And right now could be a great time for them to come in. It looks like the right time to come in and, and come talk to you. But they still have to deal with this at the same time. And there's a reason why they have to do them both at the same time. Most people would typically be doing it, you know, hashing one thing out and then maybe going towards another. But like I said, everybody's calm is different. Now, look at all those 40 or 50 people that jumped off this fucking reading. So now, those 40 or fucking 50 people, if this energy comes around, it's not going to work. Because this is shit you want to be aware of. And that's the truth. You don't want shit hidden from you. If you're going to be part of someone's life and there's somebody that's, that's in their life, 
that still plays a big role for some reason, family, kids, father, kids, mother, like you need to know that you need to be part of it. You need to be aware. You need to know what the fuck is going on in other people's fucking lives. So you guys can figure out what you guys need to do to make something right, to figure out, is this what you want? Can you both grow from this situation? Can you both, is this what you actually want? For those who bounced off would just be like, doo, doo, doo. you know, this self-love matters. People who are linked to other people and they, if they choose to keep them in their lives affects you. This is not something you should not know about. Oh, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Hell no. Fill me in. Doesn't make you look bad or whatever the case may be. If this person was karmic with you, it as sure as hell wasn't going good with the other person either. And some people don't want to talk about that because they're embarrassed or they want to make it sound like it's all good. It, no, you're not fucking stupid. So if this person can't really be honest with you, you don't want this person in your life. And that's the fucking truth. If this person can't admit shit one fucking self, or shit's uh, this, you know, this person doesn't want you with you and they're trying, you know what I mean? Like, you need to be aware of this energy. It's part of this person's comment to tell you the fucking truth. So they're probably going to be tested. Because if somebody comes, strolls back into your life, and I'm sorry if things went like this, and I want to make it right, but if they're still not really telling you what's still in the life and it's part of karma, it's not going to work. And spirits doesn't want that energy in your life. So you kind of have to be aware of like everything that's going on. And it's not because it's your job to fucking fix it. But it's only fair for you to know where things are at if you're considering proceeding with this energy. This is clearly a connection you had with somebody in the past. And not all of you want to reconnect. But maybe the ones that are meant to reconnect, you can tell yourself you don't want to reconnect and then an energy comes around and then maybe you do. I don't know. But you need to know that there's stuff that needs to be talked about because I guarantee this is an energy before that dismissed shit like this or it's not your business or like, you know, that has to do with me and her. You get where I'm going with that? But it is your business. If I'm going to be in your life, it is my fucking business. It's your business to check this energy. It's your, it's your, it's my business to know that um, I'm a priority in your life. It's my business to know things are going down the way they should be going down. It is your business. Just like things on your end is their business. You shut somebody out of a major part of your life. That relationship's not going to work out. That friendship's not going to work out. You know, that doesn't mean you get in the middle of these two people while they figure it out. This person will figure it out. If you guys are meant to figure it out. But you're not meant to be left out of the fucking dock, out in the dock either. It's important to know. And people do make mistakes. And you're a big enough person to not be like, haha, I told you so. Or to be like, karma's a bitch. That's, that's, spiritualists don't do shit like that. We're not people like that. Well, it's just, it's not a thing. You know what I mean? Like, we can forgive you. It doesn't mean we're going to entertain it. But um, the truth matters. It really, really does. And if somebody can't own the mistakes and how shit's going down because of their own fucking embarrassment, or they want you to think that your, their life is a-okay when clearly it's been up in fucking shambles, which is obvious because they have to deal with their own comic shit. And then the repercussions and then the consequences and then acceptance. That's how it works. We've, we've done that, been there, done that. And it doesn't mean we're not going to end up being in that situation again and having to go through it again. It's life. But it'd be nice to go through it with somebody if you could go with it with somebody and then somebody truly has your back. You know what I mean? So I guess it really just depends on the level of maturity and the honesty 
between two people on where this is going. You know, you know what I mean? Jelly beans, self-worth is uh is key for everybody's mental health. Doesn't mean you have to be single, doesn't mean you know you gotta put yourself first in some situations, you most definitely do. But um again, everyone's scenario is different. But this energy is on the board, so it's definitely telling me it's linked to you, and this has to do with somebody else and a situation that you guys went through and an energy that wants to come back around. And it doesn't matter how it goes down, and it does matter what energy is around. It fucking matters. And if this person really wants to get down and tell you the truth and wants, the, wants forgiveness and you can forgive them, then, you know, you do need to know that this is there's still something going down in the family that's fucking karmic or that, you know, it is your business, but it's, it's not your business to get into their business. It's the other person's business to check the other energy and to deal with their business. You get where I'm going with that? Does that make sense? You don't have to play mom because if you have to play mom, this is not your fucking person. So I hope that makes sense. Can it be done at the same time? Absolutely. But it depends on how it plays out. So oh, I, I'm going to say, let's just call this reading, awareness is key for this weekend in order for growth, with or without. So this could play out many different ways. Over the weekend, it could be with a friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, so know what you should be entertaining and what's not the, the best thing to entertain over the weekend because like I said before this reading the energy was kosher <laughs> okay so there's definitely some uproar in other people's families or situations that are going to come about and you got to know whether it's worth stepping into it's going to be trust and honesty and acceptance and you know listen to that intuition okay I love you guys, and uh, see you tomorrow morning when I get my coffee. I love you.